Hey guys, in this video I am going to try to give you a short introduction to the Android Debug Bridge. Uh, it's also called ADB usually for short. This is what you'll see more commonly is just ADB, but what it stands for is Android Debug Bridge. Now this is a command line tool that's included in the SDK and it is what's working behind the screen or behind the scenes rather when you press the run button inside of Eclipse and it installs a program onto a device or an emulator for you it's doing that through this ADB command line tool um, it's not very apparent that that's what Eclipse is doing but it's using this tool and again this tool is part of the Android SDK that gets distributed so if you downloaded the uh, the bundle package from the developer website inside that you got two folders one of them has Eclipse and one of them has the SDK inside the SDK you will find a platform tools folder and inside there you'll find the ADB so uh, first thing definitely I recommend if you want to learn a little bit more about what commands this thing is capable of and um, how you put them in is to come to this page up here developer.android.com slash tools slash help slash adb.html that page uh, this whole page is real long here it has a list of what all the commands are and exactly what you have to type in order to make them work and what order you need to put everything all the parameters all that fun stuff is listed on this page so definitely take uh, take a look at this page and you can learn a lot more than I'm gonna cover in this short video but I'm gonna try to give you the basics of it right now so first let's uh, let's find the ADB binary so see we're inside the Android SDK like I said this is inside if you downloaded the bundle this will be one of the folders the other one will be Eclipse you want to be inside the Android SDK one you should see folders that look a lot like these ones here and you want to open up the platform tools folder inside there you should see a couple of exe files some dll's and uh, some text files and some stuff like that so this is the folder where you can find and there it is right there adb.exe that is the adb binary that we're gonna be doing all this magic through so if you wanna open up a command window to here if you're using windows 7 a shortcut that i like to use is if you hold shift and you right click in empty space one of the options in this menu is open command window if you're not using Windows 7 or if that option is not there for you then just open up your regular command and CD to get to your platform tools folder so once you're inside here you can type ADB commands uh, by typing ADB space and then a command name so one of the most common ones is ADB devices and this is a really simple command that will just give you a list of the attached devices so you can see there I got one attached this is a unique um, serial number to this device and then this part on the left over here is a model number so that's probably the most basic command you, you can always use ADB devices if you just wanna make sure that your device is plugged in and that you have the drivers working and everything that's that's a command you can use to do that one of the other most common reasons that you might want to use ADB is if you work on two different computers on a project sometimes you'll notice this error down here when you try to run from one computer and it says reinstallation failed due to different application signatures and a bunch of red text down here and it won't launch so what this is trying to tell you since you um, are working on two different computers the version of the APK that's already on the device is a version that was built on a different computer basically each computer has its own debug key stored inside there and whenever you click this run button up here it signs an APK with the debug key so if I ran this from a different computer it's gonna be signed with that computer's debug key not this one and now when I come to here and I try and run it it's gonna be a different debug key and it's gonna say whoa 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 you can't install this application because you got different signatures so that's what that's what this error is trying to tell you and you'll notice down here it says please execute ADB uninstall and then uh, this package name of the program that we're working with so that's this may be the first place you heard about ADB but this is exactly what we're gonna talk about today so uh, it's telling us exactly what to do so if we wanna get this working what we can do is open up this command window where we got it loaded up we can type exactly what it says ADB uninstall and your package name
and then if you hit enter and I didn't type it right let's see uninstall so I didn't spell uninstall right so let's try that one more time clear the screen uninstall there we go let's see and then you'll see success so what that means is that the ADB has successfully uninstalled this program we should be good to go now if I run it again here um, I should be able to pick this device and I shouldn't get that error that popped up the first time it should install correctly this time and there you can see we don't get back in the console you can see we didn't get that error so you can verify for sure it did uninstall it and now we're good to go because we installed it with uh, with the new version that has our debug key from this computer so that's one of the most common use cases for ADB is when you want to uninstall a program um, that's just one reason why you might want to uninstall it is because you got one with a different debug key you might want to uninstall it for a different reason um, you could certainly go into settings and you know manage applications and you could do this by hand on the device but if you got to do it a bunch of times, uh, this is going to be a lot quicker probably just using this ADB command. Another thing that you can do with ADB, and the last thing that I'm going to talk about for this video, is actually install APKs as well. So just like ADB has an uninstall command, it also has ADB install command. So if we type ADB install, and then the parameter that you want to give it is the path to an APK file. So you can see in my folder here, I have an APK file. It's called Quiz Splash Activity. Um, if it's not in this folder, that's fine. You just have to type out a full path to wherever it's at right here. But since this APK is in the same folder as my ADB binary, I don't have to do that in this case. So I can just type ADB install Quiz Splash Activity dot APK. Hit enter and it will spit out some information like how big the file is and how quick it's transferring it and then it will tell you success so now that quiz splash activity APK is now installed on my device so I can go and find it in my applications list and run it so this the ADB install is the command that Eclipse uses whenever you click this run button up here to run your program so those are three real basic commands that ADB is capable of devices install and uninstall there are plenty of other commands, um, and I do recommend, like I said, that you come check out this page here. All of them are listed out, and a lot of them make your life a little bit easier when you're developing. Another thing you can do if you want to see them is type ADB help, and that will give you a list of all the same commands, but since you're in a console, it's kind of formatted not very good since it doesn't have very much width, but you can do that if you don't have internet access and you want to figure out what a command does. So. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope if you found this informative, you will subscribe to the channel and check back again soon because there will be a lot more videos coming in the future. Thanks for watching.